Hi, Michael Levine here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to cover uh, a new application that uh, the scientists at the company I work for, AIGL, have been working diligently on in uh, developing different products and different uses for um, something that is known as graphene. And if you're not familiar with graphene, graphene was is a, a actually it's a mine product that comes uh, from coal or is found near coal, um, same places. Um, graphene was um, discovered back in the or potentially discovered in the 1860s, but actually not act identified um, as a product till 2004, where I think two scientists actually got the Nobel Prize for uh, bringing it to uh, a method for uh, extracting graphene. And what it is, is basically they take graphite, which is what's in our pencils today, and this is a single layer of atoms and that is called uh, of graphite, which they refer to as graphene. So the name graphene has um, been applied since I think 1986, and uh, so it doesn't belong to anybody. It's an actual scientific term of, and that's what it refers to: a uh, single atomic layer of graphite. Uh, graph, you, th you think of graphite in your pencil as you write on a piece of paper. The line that you're leaving behind is actually. Uh, layers of graphene sliding off and falling on and staying on your paper. Uh, it has a lot of unique properties to it. First, it's a great conductor of heat, better than copper. Uh, it has good strength properties. It's stronger than steel. And it is uh, it becomes very hard in, under impact. Its crystal structure uh, adjusts to uh, pressure and actually would become an artificial diamond under a lot of pressure. So how does that uh, application work for us to our advantage, uh, peril makers? Um, well, there's different ways, first of all, of applying this graphene to apparel. One is to mix it into the yarn, um, where there, the percent of graphene that you can actually get uh, is very small, minuscule, because it, anything that is inherent in the yarn, be it um, uh, the silver ion for the antimicrobial or this graphene or what have you um, when you mix it into the actual yarn itself like polyester um, if you put in too much then the polyester fiber is going to become brittle and not be functional for you uh, another method is for topical solution anytime we use topical solutions of course they have a life so life expectancy associated with them uh, for how many washes they can endure so the stronger our solution is that we apply, the more washes that it will be able to endure before it falls before, below a certain performance limit that we set. Um, and we can achieve 30 washes, 50 washes, what have you. Um, it just, we just start off stronger. And then lastly, and the, the method that we're going to discuss in uh, today's video is printing it on. So we take uh, the graphene solution. We uh, mix it in with some uh, inks and uh, apply it to the fabric that way. Graphene, it's not see-through, but it's colorless. So um, when you apply it, it will darken up uh, what it, the area that it's placed on. Um, you can color it, although once again, anytime you introduce something to it, you're diluting it so it, its performance will uh, become reduced. Um, what we uh, love about graphene and the way we see it being used is either in like a base layer uh, where it can help keep you warm, uh, active wear where it can actually either keep you warm or keep you cool, and then maybe even in outer wear where it can improve the performance of outer wear as well with its keeping you warm. Um, the way it goes about doing that is you know basically your body's cores where you generate your heat from and as that heat reaches the skin, and the, your surface, this graphene is going to want to distribute it uh, evenly because it's, like I said, a great conductor of heat and it's not going to want to have hot and cold spots. It's going to balance itself out. So if you're hot on a cold day, it's going to distribute that heat uh, for you around your body. If you're hot on a hot day, it's going to also distribute that heat and help cool you down. Um, 
it just once again depends on the, the fabrication of what you're putting it into. On jackets we put it in lining, um, on active wear we put it on the back of the fabric so it touches the skin, same thing in a base layer. Um, I have two examples here with me today. Um, this navy shirt, which is one I'll wear later, I, I take it to the gym and we can talk about a little bit about how it performs. You can see we printed this one with a geometric pattern on the back. Um, you can see that pattern there. So those lines have to be connected in order for the heat to be able to travel through the fabric and reach another area uh, um, in the garment. Uh, if the lines are broken, then the heat will stop at that point. And then this is a red shirt here. Um, you can see the color of red, how it got darker on the back because we have there no pattern. It's just solid. Uh, we printed a solid color. So this one's going to have a little bit higher performance um, because of the additional chemical that's on there. Uh, you can't feel it. It has no sensation to it, whatever. It's not changing the hand feel of the fabric. So anyways, stick around. We, and enjoy my video, and then we'll sum things up at the end like always. Thank you. Okay, so most definitely, without a doubt, uh, with the graphene, this shirt is much warmer to work out in than uh, without it. Uh, it's very hard to describe exactly what's going on, but when I felt my body generating the extra heat uh, during my workout sets, I could actually feel the heat spreading uh, throughout the garment. And as soon as I stopped, um, it was like the heat dissipated out and uh, I came back down in temperature. Uh, overall, I would say by average, it still keeps you warmer than um, it would be with that shirt without it. But it most definitely you can feel, I mean, it's an actual noticeable difference, uh, the con heat conduction in it, how it uh, distributes the heat. I was very surprised by that. Um, I'll do a different demonstration, show you the moisture wicking, uh, the dark color, it's really not coming up. Okay, so here's the two graphene shirts that I had shown you earlier. And this is a really cool demonstration of just the effect of the moisture wicking attribute. So if you see, if I pour, uh, this is a cap full of room temperature water, and you pour it on the shirt, and the water penetrates straight in, and uh, that's the moisture wicking uh, property of it. Um, kind of disappeared right away into the navy fabric. Um, if you check the temperature of the shirts, and this is an infrared temperature sensor. Let's see if we can uh, get the display here. And uh, I aim the laser beam at the shirt fabric itself, the shirt fabric's at room temperature, and it's registering 75.2 degrees. And here you can see on the blue shirt, um, also 75.1, so also the same. Now, if you aim the, the beam at the spot where we poured the water on um, and check the temperature, you can see that the temperature is uh, actually at 71.72 degrees right there, 71, 72. So quite a few degrees cooler. Um, 75 degrees away from the water and 73 degrees cooler and uh, same thing here with the blue shirt um, I have to find that spot again and I don't know if you can see that so 71.8 where the blue spot is and away from the water uh, 76 degrees um, you can see the temperature of the water uh, is at 75 degrees so the water's room temperature the shirt's room temperature but because of the moisture wicking and quick dry technology the shirt is actually cooling um has that cooling effect and uh it maintains the body would maintain a sweaty person at three degrees cooler 
um, which is very interesting. So anyways, uh, there's a quick demonstration of moisture wicking. So there you go, that's graphene. And uh, I'm sure you're gonna be hearing a lot more about it. It's gonna enter into all aspects of life because it has just so much potential uh, in its uses. Um, not just limited to apparel what you heard today or um, I think a lot more will be in electronics and of course now every time you pick up a pencil I hope you know that what you're leaving down on a sheet of paper that's a layer of graphene and uh, it was uh, quite a discovery. Anyways, uh, if you would like to make some kind of product, anything, and you want to try put uh, graphene on it then give me a call. I'm the person to speak to. We're the company to do it for you. Uh, Aurora Investment Global, largest open capacity or available capacity in all of Vietnam. Uh, all our products are made in Vietnam. We have fabric availability in Vietnam uh, as well. And uh, we would love to go down a path of exploring different types of products using our graphene technology with you. Um, my name is Michael Levine again. Uh, I'm on YouTube. I produce a video almost every week. Uh, we discuss different types of uh, apparel and different types of performance, uh, be it either uh, chemical or uh, uh, different fiber. Uh, so I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so that way every time I do put out a video you get notified about it and you can check it out. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, hope to see you again. Continue to dress smart and uh, We'll see you in a future video. Thanks.